This MathCast is intended for 4th graders, and the content or learning objective is to multiply 2 digit by 2 digit numbers using 4 partial products. Before starting any actual problems, we're going to go over some vocab words to have the definitions fresh in our minds. Digit is any one of the symbols 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. To decompose means to separate into basic parts. Place value means the value a digit has because of its place in a number. The name of the position a digit has in a number, such as ones or tens. Now we're going to do a couple problems that show us how numbers are broken up. So in 56 right here, if you want to break this number up by place value, you can look at the two digits in the number. So 6 is in the 1's place and 5 is in the 10's place. So that means the 6 means there are 6 1's, which is right here. And the 5 means there are 5 10's, which makes 50, which is right here. So the 50 plus the 6 together gives you 56. In 48, there are 8 1's because the 8 is in the 1's place. And there are 4 10's because the 4 is in the 10's place. So the 40 plus the 8 equals 48. Now that we know how numbers are decomposed and what they're made of, we can use this knowledge to use the partial products method to multiply. So to begin with this problem, we're going to start like any other standard multiplication problem and begin with the 1 right here. We're going to multiply this 1 by the 2 directly above it to get 2 because both of these numbers are in the 1's place. Our next step is to multiply the same 1 by this 3 right here. But we can't multiply the 1 by just 3 because that 3 is in the tens place, making it not actually just a 3, but a 30. So when we multiply that 1 by 30, we get 30, which is placed underneath the 2 that we calculated in the last step. By now, we've multiplied the 1 as many times as possible for this problem. So now we're going to move over to the 2 right here and start multiplying this number. This 2 is in the tens place, so it's a 20. So we have to keep that in mind when multiplying it by the 32. So that 2 multiplied by this 2, which is in the ones place, is actually a 40 because 2 tens times 2 ones gives you 40. Now we can multiply this 20 by this 30 up here because the 3 is in the tens place as well. The product of these two numbers is 600. Now we've multiplied all the possible pr um, parts of this multiplication problem. So now we can add up all four parts to get 672. We can also use this diagram over here to demonstrate why there are four parts to this problem. So when we multiplied the 1 by the 2, that was just 1 1 by 2 ones, and that is represented by the green box down here. When we multiplied the 1 by the 30, that's represented by the yellow box right here. And when we moved over to multiply the 20 times the 2, that's the blue box here. The 20 by the 30 is the big box right here. All four of these products go together to create this one number, which, which is the product 672. Now we're going to do one more problem just to solidify what we just learned. So when we start, as we started with the last problem, we're going to start with the 8 right here, that's in the 1's place, and multiply it times this 5 that's in the 1's place. So 8 times 5 gives us 40, which is written down here. Now we're going to multiply the 8 times this 4, which is in the 10's place, which makes it a 40. 8 times 40 gives us 320. Now we multiplied the 8 by the 40 and the 5, so now we're going to move on to this 30 that is a 30 because it's in the tens place. So 30 times 5 ones gives us 150, 
written right here. 30 times 40, because this 4 is in the tenths place, gives us 1,200 written right there. Now that we've multiplied all the parts of this multiplication problem, we can add to get a total of 1,710. Once again, this diagram over here represents our multiplication problem that we just did. The eight ones and five ones right here are represented by the red square. The eight ones and four tens are represented by the green square. The three tens and five ones are represented by the yellow square. And finally, the three tens and four tens are represented by this blue square. And once again, like it was in the last problem, all four parts that add up to get this 1,710 make up this one square. And that concludes our lesson. Thanks for watching.